All right, hey, what's up, folks? Uh, good uh, afternoon. Merry Christmas to everyone out there that celebrates a holiday. Just going to do a Christmas update, uh, which is today, uh, December 25th, 2019, 1.14 p.m. my time here on the West Coast. And uh, still seeing some earthquake activity out there along the um, Juan de Fuca Plate um, up there in the north, just off the Vancouver Island region. Uh, quite a bit of flurry of uh, large quakes there over the past couple days today largest quake looking like uh, a 4.8 showing up there in that region there's a little bit new crustal surface type quaking uh, right off or right there in Washington the state of Washington with that 2.7 looks like it might be west of Seattle area uh, so we're keeping an eye on that uh, latest larger quake struck out here uh, in the Pacific, this part of the Ring of Fire, 5.8 earthquake, and um, that just happened just a short time ago out there in the East Pacific Rise, I believe it is. Let's take a look here, real quick. This here is a USGS map once again 2.5 and above, just earthquakes today. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here real quick. Get a better understanding and idea of where this uh, 5.8 took place here. Looks like there's a lot of movement on this side of the Pacific Plate quite a bit over the last couple days. Uh, some large quakes over into the South American continent as well yesterday. But uh, this specific earthquake, this 5.8, striking at about 5. Uh, or uh, 10 kilometers below the surface, I should say, right there in the eastern, what is that, Easter Fracture Zone, is what it says there, um, in the eastern Pacific Rise region. East Pacific Rise is that uh, this little plate section out here, and it continues to go up um, northward through Mexico and into Baja, and then you get... Uh, into Southern California and then up around here and it just all interlinks uh, so to speak but uh, definitely a major plate boundary out here uh, the Pacific and the North American plate uh, zooming in at California activity relatively quiet today I mean I can't say it's been absolute quiet but we haven't seen anything major going on a couple smaller quakes in the magnitude of two and uh, I think we had a 3.2 earthquake as well that struck down here just uh kettleman city california that's going to be that blue dot that just popped up there on the screen kind of off of the san andreas fault section inland in the valley uh, near avenal uh, let's see another 3.2 there where did that one take place that one was a little bit further down here on the west part of the san andreas fault system here down near the, uh, uh, well, I'm not too familiar with that area. About that Banning area, Hemet, down in that region there. So a couple smaller quakes, but uh, nothing major yet. And I say yet just because there's still quite a bit of activity uh, that we're looking at today, just earthquake activity up here. A uh, couple. There's a small one, all right, a 2.7 that struck out here. Go ahead and zoom in near Shelton, Washington. Out here, I don't see any specific fault areas, but of course this is all mountainous areas. Um, I don't believe there's any type of volcanoes around this specific area. Just kind of an oddball quake out there at that 2.7 there in the state of Washington. Um, but I did want to show you guys real quick. Let me jump over here to this other map the something I haven't shown in quite a while I keep forgetting to I was going to yesterday but uh, forgot um, this here is a trimmer detection movement map it shows trimmers in the Cascadia subduction zone and I have mentioned this quite a bit though in uh, some of my videos I did in the past over the you know a couple months or so ago it's been, but I haven't mentioned it in a while. Um, I think it's wise to mention the large cluster of, qu of 
I keep wanting to say quakes, but uh, <clears throat> they're not necessarily quakes. It's more or less like a uh, a slow movement earthquake uh, rele release of energy, I guess, if you will, in that area of the Cascadia subduction zone. And this here is pretty interesting. I mean, it's, it's not it's not like we haven't seen this before. We have, but with the large amount of quakes that we've seen over the last couple days. Um, on the Juan de Fuca plate. Um, it does it definitely have an adverse effect on the Cascadia subduction zone. I don't believe it's relieving pressure, but there's definitely um, some movement going on down there in that region. If you guys can see that, hopefully. Let's see if I can zoom this up just a little bit more. Uh, of course, you got the state of uh, Washington, Oregon, and then Northern California here. Northern California, Southern Oregon looks like to be the hot spot of the tremor that's going on uh, it's quite a cluster let me tell you and this is delayed by about a day so i'm sure there's a lot more that uh, has happened uh, just today in that area and it's confined basically to one spot we're not seeing a complete movement or a complete tremor pick up along the entire section of the Cascadia subduction zone. That's just not happening. So we do have one specific area that uh, is moving, is uh, sub, you know subducting, I guess, if you will. Um, and that's this just one area here in, in uh, Southern Oregon, Northern California. There's a little bit up to the north. Um, kind of, well, right there on the Vancouver Island region just east of where the um, earthquake activity is taking place. So there's a little bit of movement to the south. Actually, I should say a lot of movement to the south. A lot of trimmer being picked up along the Cascadia subduction zone in a small amount uh, just up here to the north uh, in this part of the Cascadia subduction zone there underneath the uh, Vancouver Island region. So I'm not 100% sure what this is going to play out to, folks. I mean, because we have seen this happen before in the past. We've seen the entire section out here uh, show movement and tremor, you know, all up and down the coast. All, or I should say all up and down the uh, Cascadia subduction zone here. So it's just, uh, we'll watch it um, and keep an eye on it. It's just, it's worthy to note the trimmer that's definitely being picked up in this area uh, and i've always said whenever one part of the plate or one one part of the area is showing trimmer you know what's what's going on with the other sections you know of the cascadia subduction zone um, you know in my mind i see them not it's not being a good thing with it being uh, applying more pressure being locked i guess if you will when we see one portion move and not the other it's kind of Kind of not a good thing. I'd rather see it all uh, move at once. But uh, then again, uh, it's just something to watch, folks. And we'll see what uh, see what plays out throughout the day. So anyway, I gotta go. My dog's barking at somebody. Um, have a good day out there, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.